Okay, this is the biggest nice guy mistake and why girls will almost always lose attraction to a guy who does this one thing. We don't care. We have an ex out there that believes you never cheated on him, but you really did. Yes. 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 <laughs> Absolutely. I'm a hundred, so all my niggas know I cheated on them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely think I didn't cheat on him, but I did with three different niggas. I'm a Scorpio, bitch. They know I cheat. I don't know if he know I know I cheated on him or not. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I cheated though, and I be crying like I didn't. Jesus can't save these hoes. It's an evil world we live in. All right, honestly, for real, for real. Why do you have to wear makeup? It makes me feel pretty. <laughs> really? Yeah. Course. So what do you look like under that? Pretty. <laughs> Stop the cap. <laughs> it makes me feel prettier. <laughs> Are you trying to like hide? Okay, like yeah. without makeup I'm a nine, but with makeup I'm a ten. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? <laughs> Who tells you that? It's affirmations that I say in the mirror. Keep telling yourself that, darling. Oh, you say it to yourself. Okay, yeah. That's, I mean, yeah, it's, it's all about self-belief and self-manifestation. Yeah, I, it works. Don't I look great in makeup on? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> the reason why the vast majority of women wear makeup is because they have low self-esteem and they don't like the way they look. And they know deep down that their value is predicated on their looks. When you look up the definition of makeup in the dictionary, it's cosmetics like lipstick and powders that are applied on the face to alter or enhance their appearance. And ask yourself this, when they are alone, do they wear makeup? What is something you never told your parents? I know they my auntie Penny since she got pregnant and had the baby. Do you think you could handle me? No. Reason number 78 for why you should try dating an older woman. Fuck no! Hi, so Denzel Washington, Sylvester Stallone, and Mark Wahlberg are all resigning from the Screen Actors Guild. They would like to create a non-woke union so they can bring back traditional values. Now, I think this is a great idea. I think that they're powerful enough and there's also many other celebrities that want to do the same thing. And I think it's a great idea because bringing back traditional values is very important. And right now, our world is really starting to go in a crazy direction. And thank God that these people are creating this. So they will be making films that are non-woke and in a different union, and I really think it's great. What do you think? Because I'm all for it, you know? So I think traditional values are very, very important. What's the biggest lie you've ever told? That's a good question. It's been, what's the biggest lie I've ever told? <laughs> I don't know. You know, I told, <laughs> never mind, never mind, never mind. I don't know. I you can't know? help you, I can't help you. You've never lied to like a boyfriend? Just a little bit. What'd you lie about? How many people I so you lied about your body count? Yeah. And why'd you feel like you needed to lie about that? Because I felt bad. Why? Because it was a little high. <laughs> it was a little high. All right, now I gotta know. Like, what's your body count? I don't know. <laughs> Is it in double digits? Um, I, th um, Tri I triple digits? No, nah, it's gotta be double. It's gotta be double. It's gotta be. <laughs> she belongs to the streets. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? Stunning uh, stage presence. I love it. Your fishnets caught a whale. I've never I, seen anybody wear a skirt over their shirt before. It's amazing. <laughs> Crystal, what's your last name? I know it's not Crystal Light. Uh, <laughs> Tony. I've heard of Crystal Light, but this is Crystal Tony, Heavy. I've actually, Tony I've bump. always wanted to be roasted by you. Well, uh, it's not the first time that I've uh, roasted a pig, so uh, this is incredible. Oh my god, stop. She knows I'm single, just trying to, you know, get that D. Uh, can I get your number? Just single mom out here. Just... I have a girlfriend, sorry. What? I have a girlfriend.
rejected. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. You said I'm a hottest kid. Don't care if he's here or not. But now you're a single mom. Now you're. A no, the thing is, like, I have changed guys for me, Where? and then I end well, up like not even really liking them after they yeah, change for me. Repeat that one more time. <laughs> I said I end up not even liking them after they change for me. There you go. Me. Do you understand like why you lost attraction for them? Yes, I do. Yeah, it's because. You don't want a man who will bow to the pressures of the world. No, I so do. If you, mm -mm, you, you lost attraction I, no, for I him. Like the game. What makes a strong man is he lines. has boundaries, he has conviction, he is strong. He will not bend to the pressures of the world. That makes a man attractive. So if yourself can break those boundaries, if you can push that man to compromise, that is extremely unattractive. And that's why immature women will find themselves in this scenario where they're like, I, I want to change a man, I can change him, like all of that's good, and then when he does, when he breaks his own boundaries, when he compromises, when he proves to you that he's not a strong man, you lose attraction. It makes sense. A woman sued Geico because she got an STD in her car from a guy, and she sued Geico because she has protection while in that car for anything that happens to her in that car. So of course, the way that Geico intended to write it was, if you crash your Honda Civic, you're covered. Not if you get and get an STD, you're covered. She's suing them for $5.6 million. No. What are you, nuts? Do you judge a guy based on height? Does height matter? Yeah. It does? Yeah. They can't choose whether or not they get to be tall. Well, someone else will love them, not me. So I judge based on things that you can change. For example, how much makeup you wear. Okay. So I got some makeup removing wipes because I love- Fuck no, get the fuck out of here, what the hell? Why would you want to take off my makeup? Because you're judging guys based on height. You can see my face. I can't, you got a whole mask What's on. Gotcha, bitch. Y'all, please don't make fun of me, okay? Don't make fun of me. You gotta do what you gotta do, Buki. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> what? Yeah. Man, look at, man, hell no. So to be clear, you met your most recent guy who you dated for a couple months at an orgy while you were at said orgy with your two-year situation ship. They were roommates, yes. She belongs to the streets. Let us imagine for a moment that this relationship that you had with this gentleman worked out and you're 35 years old and you're sitting around with little Stephanie, your daughter, and she says, Mommy, how'd you meet Daddy? And you're like, well, we were at a gangbang and uh <laughs> you know there was uh, there was body fluids going all over the place yeah and uh they high-fived over my head and i knew then your dad that was the one happened. for me mm -hmm. maybe if you think about that Mantic. future conversation does I that maybe produce cute. red flags in your head <laughs> i thought it was cute like a love story you know i mean we didn't have to tell our kid that per se we could just say we met like from mutual friends <laughs> That's not a lie. jesus can't save these hoes why are you trying <laughs> All right, so what's your name? Carrie. Carrie, where are you from? Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. They gave her a mask like Sub Zero. Okay, cool. How old are you? I'm 28. 28? Okay, cool. Do you have kids? No. I got All, right. All right, so look, they're blind dating you based off your body. They are not blind dating at all. They see exactly what they want to see. <laughs> he made it seem like she completely covered. Trust me, they seen everything they needed to see. This girl could have no nose, no teeth. They still happy. <laughs> they talk about blind dating. Can we get a 360? Um, this one's a little different. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. You could come back. You can come back here. And nobody no popped their balloon yet, so right, obviously so look, the mask don't matter. Your balloons. So y'all feeling her body? Yeah, of course. Of course. Thank you. All right, so look, come with me. Hold this mic. Based off her body, smash or pass? Definitely smash. Don't know about you. That's me. Wow. Definitely a smash. Definitely a smash. Okay. Thank you. Bien. Bien? Bien? Oh my god. <laughs> That's all he know in that language. He's like, I know some shit yeah. too, man. He's an Enki. I'm out to smash. Okay. Okay, wow. Yeah. yeah. I'm making love to her. <laughs> okay. Yes, men are simple creatures. We fall in love with what we see, and women fall in love with what they hear. That's why men lie and women wear makeup.